All right, howdy. So uh, I am going to do another demo video of the Squire Vintage Modified Jaguar that I got the other day. Uh, unnecessary close-up cam and all. Uh, so I've been going through and kind of, you know, tweaking and uh, finding ways that uh, make this particular guitar sing that are different than um, some other guitars that I've got. I, traditionally play a lot of guitars with humbuckers, Les Pauls, PRS's, uh, Gretches, things like that. Um, and I do have some strats, but the strats kind of behave differently than this guitar does, uh, even the ones with single coils. So I've been kind of playing around with different tones to find out what it does. Uh, I'm playing today through, again, the Super 60. Um, into a 2x12 with V30s, so it's kind of like a twin um, with um, uh, two V30s in it. Um, I've got it set on the clean channel and uh, no reverb on it or anything. And I've been playing around with uh, a variety of dirt boxes that I've got, um, and I have quite a few. Um, trying to see what will uh, work on it, what won't. I tried a couple different fuzzes because um, it's kind of a low output guitar compared to uh, even a Strat and it really didn't do that well with the fuzzes uh, which can, which uh, confused me. Tried it with some of my uh, favorite overdrive pedals um, and I uh, still need to do that one uh, but uh, really didn't do a lot with those so uh, so far, I have found three pedals that it seems to get along well with uh, for different reasons. Um, the uh, beat up Big Muff that I've got here, uh, I'm not sure when this is from, but it's got, a, it's got an LED light on it, so probably not that old, but it's the big cabinet version. A uh, Proco Rat that I got in the uh, 90s sometime, and then one that I just picked up recently, which is a Balls. Uh, it's a guy, I guess, in New York. Um, copy of a Klon Centaur. Uh, and they work really well for different reasons, and I'll show you why. Um, so first off, uh, I'm going to play you the sound of the clean tone of the guitar. That's on the bridge pickup. actually pretty bright. I mean, it's a, it's a Fender tube amp, you know. Volume and tone are all the way up. That is bridge pickup only. I switch on the neck one too. Okay, clean tone, not super inspiring though. Um, so, in, in the process of experimenting, I found a couple of things out. One, uh, the Klon, which I will turn on first as a setup as an overdrive, and you'll hear how it does there. Okay, but here's where I found that this pedal really shines. Uh, I'm going to readjust it now so that it's basically a clean boost. And I think you'll immediately hear the difference. nicely which is I think really cool um, so that's interesting it does add a little bit more noise as you can hear 
Now there are two, back to the normal sound so you can hear that, there are two pedals that I came away with that did a really interesting thing. It seems like uh, to work with this guitar you need a pedal with a lot of gain. Uh, so first I'm going to flip on the, uh, the Proco Rat. Um, and I don't know a whole lot of it. I should know some more alt rock stuff. Um, but here you hear the difference here. This is on the, again the bridge pickup. sense. Uh, but here, here is really the winner, and you can already hear the extra noise. Um, but when I put this thing in here, um, and you know, I said before, it didn't work so well with my Bender clone or with my fuzz face, um, but the Big Muff, which actually doesn't work with any of my other guitars very well, I'm really glad I kept it around. So here we got the... <laughs> definitely about finding the right pedal for it and it's different uh, different pedals that it likes other than my uh, my normal fare as term in terms of what I play but um, definitely interesting to play around with it experiment and see what it likes and uh, I'll come back later if I find more that's interesting thanks <laughs>